quadrilateral DECS is a trapezium kasi wala tayo makikitang parallel sides. <tinyo> Okay, this is our topic types of quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals can be defined according to the number of pairs of parallel sides that they have. Okay, again, yung uh, parallel sides or parallel lines are lines in the same plane that do not intersect. Okay, this is the example of a parallel lines. Lines that uh, in the same plane that do not intersect. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila mag-intersect, hindi sila pwedeng mag-abot. Uh, mag Ibig pa. Okay? Uh, line L, this is line L, and parallel to line M. Ayan. So, this is the symbol of parallel. Okay? So, line L is parallel to line M. Okay? Okay, so this is the first type of quadrilateral, a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So, isa lang yung pair ng parallel sides. So, this is uh, this quadrilateral is quadrilateral TLMN. So, merong one pair of parallel sides dito. One pair. One pair of parallel sides. So, ang pair na... Ang parallel side dito is the T, uh, LM. Line segment LM is parallel to symbol ng parallel ha? TN. Okay? Line segment TN. Parallel siya. So, ang tawag ng parallel sides is the base. Base ang tawag sa, sa parallel sides ng uh, trapezoid. The non-parallel side, ito si L and MN or NM non-parallel sila it's because kung i-extend natin yan mag-intersect na yan so hindi sila parallel kaya non-parallel so ang tawag ng non-parallel side sa trapezoid is the leg leg ang tawag yan okay next is the base angle so, this is the base angle adjacent to a uh, base base angle okay next if the leg of a trapezoid are congruent, the trapezoid is isosceles. So, quadrilateral ABCD is a isosceles trapezoid. Bakit siya nagiging isosceles? Kasi meron siyang uh, congruent yung leg niya. Diba? This is the leg of a trapezoid, yung uh, non-parallel side. Basta non-parallel side, ito yung leg. So, kung uh, congruent ang kanyang uh, leg, ang tawag niyan ay isosceles trapezoid. Nakawa? Okay, next. If a quadrilateral has no parallel sides, it is called trapezium. Okay? Kung walang parallel sides, okay? So, kung wala tayo makikitang parallel sides dito sa quadrilateral, okay? So, magkaiba yun eh. So, ito, mag-intersect yan sila. Si, si CS, mag-intersect sila kay uh, ED. Kung extend natin yan. Okay? Si DS, at saka si EC, mag-intersect pa rin yan sila. Okay? Kung ito, kung extend natin yan. So, therefore, pag walang parallel sides, ang tawag nito, quadrilateral DECS is a trapezium. Kasi, wala tayo makikitang parallel sides. Okay? Okay, next ng type ng quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So, dalawa yung pair ng parallel sides dito. So, uh, quadrilateral CDEF is a parallelogram. Okay? So, meron tayong uh, two pairs. Okay? Two pairs of parallel sides. So, ano yung two pairs dito? Si line segment DE. Okay? Line segment DE is parallel to line segment CF. Yeah, one pair yan. So, another pair... Line segment CD is parallel to line segment EF. Line segment EF. So, meron tayong two pairs of parallel sides. So, kung mer merong dalawang uh, two pairs, or merong two pairs of parallel sides, ang tawag ng quadrilateral na ito ay parallelogram. Nakawa? Okay, next we have a rectangle. 
A rectangle is a uh, parallelogram with four congruent angles. And all angles are right angles. Lahat ng uh, meron tayong uh, four congruent angles. Congruent sila, it's because lahat ng angles ay right angle. So, pag right angle, that is measure 90 degree. Okay, so lahat ito ay right angle. Right angle. Angle uh, F is a right angle. Angle G is a right angle. Angle X is a right angle. Angle I is also a right angle. And these four angles are congruent. At the same time, right angle yung mga angles nila. So, uh, hindi perfect yung rectangle ko dito kasi yan ako lang yun. So, let's assume na it is a perfect rectangle. Okay? So, lahat ng angles ay congruent at merong apat na uh, four congruent angles. Okay. Okay, next we have a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So, merong apat na congruent side dito sa parallelogram. Okay? So, line segment MN this one is congruent to line segment congruent to line segment NO. And line segment NO is congruent to line segment OP. And line segment OP is congruent to line segment MP. Okay, or PN. Ayan. So, merong apat na congruent sides ang arumbos. Okay, next we have a square. A square is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and four congruent angles. So, quadrilateral QRST is a square. It's because meron silang apat na congruent sides and apat na congruent angles. So, yung congruent sides, si uh, line segment QR, wala na akong in, sana may mag-sponsor, is congruent to line segment RS, and line segment RS is congruent to line segment ST. Okay? And line segment ST is congruent to line segment PQ or QT. Okay? Ayan. So, merong apat na congruent sides. So, meron ding apat na congruent angle. Angle Q is congruent to, lines, uh, to angle R. Okay? And angle R is congruent to angle S. And angle S is congruent to angle T. So, meron siyang apat na congruent angles at meron ding apat na congruent sides. At maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, mag-subscribe ka na at hit mo yung notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos na i-upload ko. See you to my next video. Bye-bye!